All right, guys, today's the day. We get to see that Newcastle product. You know, we got that teased picture last Friday. Now, today we get to show what that tease is all about. You know, a lot of people figured it out pretty quick that it's an ESC. Um, it's kind of easy to pull out of that picture. And fortunately, I was involved with the beta testing, so I've been testing this product for a while. Got a lot of speed runs in with it because that's what I do. And uh, was really happy with the product. So I want to kind of go over some maybe some of the features of the product and then you know show you some of those runs that we made and then we'll come back and show you the new uh link software um which is really nice some nice features so what we have been testing is the cobra 8. nice esc obviously the construction looks a lot like its big brother like great big brother the xlx2 good size difference in there um it's two to six s uh cryo drive like the bigger esc which is really nice because that's helped a lot with the heat and uh and kept them more efficient the one thing that this has that the other escs do not uh currently is 32-bit processor so that's a way big step up and it has some other features as well um, that we can show i'll show you in the in the logging some of the things you can do but you know with this new processor um it pretty much unlimits the the electrical rpm so it keeps it keeps it connected makes it work and we're gonna show you some of that stuff show you some of the passes that we made and then i'll show you what i built um, to make some of those passes and show you that new link software. I had a built a couple of cars for this test. You know, one I did a single ESC and actually did it with a 1406 castle motor. It's a T90 little motor. Got some decent passes out of that thing. Um, never thought that car with that little motor would, uh, would break a hundred miles an hour, but it did. And then I decided to keep it a castle build and stick with some castle motors and went to 1412s and did a duel, which I'll show you in a minute after we show some of these passes. pretty pretty nice it i think we'll see definitely better than it did on the 2s let's see what we got out of it there we go it's picking up 140 so hopefully we can uh Make some good numbers on some. So let's see what a little Rolero can do when you do a little work. Read one fifty three. thing stood up i thought it was gonna be a goner i don't know how the hell i managed to say that i'll show you what i got going on and then we're gonna see what we got in here all right guys 3s right there. 3s i got two castle motors in it man just something a little different let's see what it did Up, stop, read 
167. All right, guys, as you can see, the car did really well, made some really nice passes. I, it surprised me, actually. And uh, I told you I'd show you this is what I ended up building. It's a Rolero dual 1412s. Really simple car um, to be a dual, and it's really small to be a dual as far as I'm concerned because um, what I'm used to dealing with is so large. But did just want to kind of show you that and uh, show you what I tested in. Like I say, I also did uh, a single build with a really 14, you know, as a 1406, which is like considerably smaller than this. Um, and it did, did really well. I was able to break 100 miles an hour with that little uh, small motor, which was really impressive. The ESC um, gave me no trouble. It did really well. And, uh, you know, we went through all the testing procedures and, and tested, you know, in different, um, at different levels, tried to push it as hard as we could so we could kind of see where it went. And, you know, for, for me running little 10 scale cars, is kind of a new thing. Um, hadn't ran them in a long time because we just kind of moved up to the bigger stuff, but I was really happy with the way it, it worked out. I'm going to get the laptop set up and I'll show you some of these new features on the, on the, uh, logging you know, on the link and, um, let you see what that's all about. All right, guys, I got this laptop set up here and I wanted to show you this new castle link software. Of course we got a new link for this new processor we got here. Let me get this thing plugged up and I can, uh, show you a little bit of the features. Definitely need a data cable. It's not going to work with a little cheap charge cord. I'll run down these things. They're pretty much, most of them are really the same, but I did want to just kind of run down them and show everybody. The, of course, the basic stuff is still the same. Voltage cut off, um, all the same things that we had before. The start power, all that stuff, still the same kind of situation that we had before. The braking now. Um, of course, we had to break them out, and you got to break lockout timer, and you also have reverse to forward, which is not something that I do because I don't go backwards very fast. And uh, but it is a nice feature to have braking when you slam back forward, so you're not just running into it like you used to. Um, and then, of course, it's got the drag brake features that we've had before. Um, auxiliary wire, uh, you know, like the MMX 8S, gives you some options on what to what you can use it for. Then motor, it does have a current limiting feature that you can set the current that you want to limit it at. Um, you can limit it at any of the above or below. Uh, you know, it's at your discretion and, and definitely I would use that discretion wisely. Um, then of course, normal stuff. And then it's uh, the cheat mode which is timing, so you can set all that up. It's not something that I particularly use because I don't do drag racing and whatnot, but it is a good feature, and that's what a lot of guys will be using this ESC for. And then logging, you know, all the stuff that we're used to, voltage and ripple and battery current, uh, controller temp, input uh, throttle, and then motor output power, uh, or controller motor output power, um, RPM, BEC, auxiliary wire, motor temp. The one thing it does have that I don't think I've seen in uh, an ESC before is it's got an accelerometer in it. Um, and then also you can track your motor timing in that cheat mode um, in your logging. So we can pull a log up. I can show you a little bit about that. Let's just, no, let's try this one. All right, you got all your items listed here that you can cut them off. You know, you're getting all the all the properties for each, the max and the uh, um, where your mouse is. Just just basically just like the old stuff. You got a slide bar down here on the bottom where you can get to all of those, all the way over to that accelerometer, and it's only going to show what you have selected that you're using. Um, 
the other thing is when you get up here and you can right click and hold your right click and slide the cursor across and expand that and then hold left and move it over to whatever you're specifically looking to do and then you know of course you can bring it in and nail it down into one little spot um so it's kind of cool uh it's a little bit easier to do um i think than the other one because we used to have to click and drag and get all that to work everything else is pretty much the same um you know you have all these different things just just the same thing you know you can change from watch the horsepower and whatnot so all that stuff's the same but i did want to just kind of go over um just quickly what what they've added so i think it's a pretty cool new software uh, another good thing about it is it updates your firmware um, when you're connected to the internet so you don't have to it's kind of like an app it just updates itself so you don't have to go in and and download the latest update you're always going to have it so any changes that are coming um you know as soon as they're out you'll be able to have them in your catalog of software and, and update immediately so i think that's a, a really cool feature to have all right guys i hope my release video was informative and you got to see a few things about the new product and got to see the car running this is going to be my 10 scale car coming out soon I'm um, going to do a couple of 10-scale cars this year just to have something new to do. Got some other cars that I'm going to be doing as well. Top secret stuff. You know how that works. Um, and we're going to uh, get a lot of runs in, hopefully get to the airport quite a bit. But just wanted to release this Cobra 8, and I hope everybody enjoys it. Keep in mind, you know, this new 32-bit processor, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed that Castle moves this on up into some other things. And... Uh, helps out some of those big cars too so hope you enjoyed it and y'all come check us out again next time jimmy's rc speech up